What's up, yo? Welcome. How's it going? Um, I'm going to be doing some speedrun practice today on Songbringer. So I've been doing this one world. Um, wizard. Let's get into actually. It's like pop up my secrets here. Wizard. Here's the map for Wizard. Oh, let me should just load this in. Not Photoshop. A little bigger in preview. So there's the map for Wizard, and I'm going to be making some PDF maps soon of worlds that will have like locations of secrets and stuff like that. There will definitely be one PDF map that's been promised to all the Kickstarter backers, so that's going out. Um, and But basically, so there'll be better maps than this eventually. But what this, what this map shows is uh, here's H, this is the home screen. Um, these like arrows with numbers next to them mean gates. Um, the pluses are stores. The numbers are dungeons. The gray numbers with a colon are all secrets. The squigglies that are in green are um, interest points. So like rock face and like Vell's Cave, Brutus, places like that. Um, these things are waterfalls when you see the two blue squares like that. The seas mean there's cliffs. Anyways, this will all kind of get to be a better map. But so this is what I've been using to do the speedrun practice. Let me make sure I'm all set up here on, on game show. I don't want to be talking twice. Okay, so yes, all right, we got levels. At least this is being recorded. I'm doing a different thing with my chat today. So I hope, uh, let's see if the chat's actually going on. It's not going on my other thing here. I got the chat open on my, my laptop or my iPad. All right, cool. Okay, cool. So, so that's what I've been using to plan out the speed run routes. Like, and I decided to do this world wizard. Um, just because I wanted a simple like six letter word that that's totally based on my name um, and then yeah so basically I tried to do this run where I did all ten dungeons so we did one two whatever whatever the order is like I wanted to hit every single dungeon beat every single boss and and beat the game so but doing all the dungeons in the fastest order so that's where the other secret map comes in this is the map that gets printed of all the dungeons, and this will be part of the PDF maps I'm thinking too. So there'll be there'll be like the layout of the whole overworld and all the dungeons and all the secrets and all that kind of stuff. So, dungeon one, like here's what I use to practice the speed run. Basically, I was like, okay, how do I get through this dungeon the fastest? The E is the entrance. The V is the verlock. You've always got to basically hit the E, the V and the B for the boss. So you start at the entrance, you get the gate item, and you get to the boss. And some dungeons you'll have to go to a, a boss switch too, this little hash mark. So I basically just looked at every single dungeon and went, what's the what's the fastest route in it through this dungeon? And this is this is a really simple one. The first dungeon is really easy, fast. But then dungeon two, you know you can what's great about these maps is you can see the secrets too. Like I can, I know there's a secret path here. Um, there's a bomb wall there, for example. So, yeah. So, anyways, I'm just gonna start speed running now. I hope, uh, hope the chat's working today. I haven't seen any chats yet. This is weird. This makes me feel weird. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's just do this. Let's start speed running. At least this will be a YouTube video. I don't know if there's an issue with Twitch today. Or if I'm just using some of this weird chat. Okay, so World Seed. I'm gonna do Wizard. I'm gonna start new though. Let's kill this reckon Permadeath. Oh, so Permadeath is the way to get faster runs. Like Permadeath mode, a lot of things are faster. Um, you pick up the sword. No, wait, not to think of a sword, but you can skip things. Um, but like, 
meditating, for example, is faster. Um, like uh, getting the courage refills faster. Crafting items is a little bit faster. There's like all these little tiny tweaks. Actually, the menu, the, when you open up the gear equipment menu, that's a little bit faster. So there's a lot of advantages to playing in Permanent Road if you're going for time. And also you got the timer in the top left. So let's just start and get this started. Um, I'm going to be using B to hold the skip like a lot of the story elements and stuff. And you can just hold B the whole time and it'll pick it up. You don't have to like actually press it. I could have had B being held that whole time. Unless I had bombs, it might just be dropping bombs all the time. So I'm holding B even to skip the sword sequence here. Um, I guess it's a waste of time in this world to get that secret. Yeah, so basically I've been I've been getting to the tower, the last dungeon, in about an hour. And last night I was on track to beat it a little bit faster. I was in the fear dungeon, like which is which is dungeon eight in this world. At 45 minutes. Ooh, question, should I skip the sixth dungeon today? This dungeon six is kind of unnecessary in this world. I think I'm gonna try that. That'd be a cool experiment. Is it faster to skip six? Well, I guess we could do all bosses anyway. I don't know. So I'm skipping the dialogue for Brutus here, but I'm at least getting the quest so that later I can fulfill the quest and get the flask so that you can beat the last boss because I haven't been able to beat Metatron yet without at least a flask. I'm really crazy interested to see what speedrunners will come up with. Yo, T, what's up, man? Howdy! I'm doing some speedrun practice here. How you been, man? So, once again, shortest path through every dungeon. I'm just going straight to the Verloc, and then to a boss switch if there is one in a dungeon. I'm always like pressing the blink button, like I think I have blink already. Try and collect. Um, actually, I think this is probably a waste of time because you sometimes don't get it there. This time I didn't get diamonds, but it helps to build up about 250 diamonds or so, so you can get the hyper top hat. That really helps you run. Another secret to speedrunning I've found so far is to build is to get the ice top hat. It helps you beat some of the harder bosses. Because you freeze them. Or maybe that just works for this world. I don't know, maybe just this particular wizard world is nice for having the uh, ice top that. Or any kind of ice, I guess. You notice I'm not really that fast in this game. But like, I'm just kind of learning to speedrun it right now, so I'm getting used to it. I can't wait to see what tricks like speedrunners find to like bosses faster or some stuff like that. Like I'm sure there's some code I've overlooked somewhere where you'll be able to glitch and like crazy beat a boss fast or something. Wonder what that'll be. Alright so dungeon one's done. That was 352 and I got there at 150 so that's about two minutes to beat Dungeon 1, and about two minutes to get to it. I don't need to go into that store yet, but I will. It's nice to have fear to beat the last bosses. Oops, I shouldn't have got that. It totally cost like a second. So 
So hopefully I don't have to look at the map anymore. And not cheat at all in this run. Just did it all from memory. I'm still learning this, this route. Oh yeah, yeah. That doesn't work for the this ice dungeon one as much because these little ice midges like fly out really fast and so they're not quite as um you can't really do it with the spiders. But yeah, I think the spite the first one you can really like kill all the spiders fast. Yo, Thomas, what's up, man? Yeah, dude, I'm yeah, the final version is gonna be really soon, so it's um it's like it's coming out on PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam, and we're just getting everything lined up, and we'll know pretty soon what the release date will actually be. So that's exciting. How you been, man? What's new? Oh shoot! I forgot the freaking. <laughs> Oh, that totally cost me 30 seconds right there. I forgot to get the freaking gate item. Don't. Let's see if we get a secret. Oh, nice. Two, two of those is lucky. Swarmonia so Explorer compiled for the first time in a week, right on. Nice, there we go, cool. Beat those guys fast. Gosh, you know what's really great about speedrunning um, is it covers everything, so I can go and like make sure that the whole game is pretty much working. I could do all ten dungeons in like an hour or fifteen. What I'd like to do is actually record the, all the inputs for um, doing it that fast, and then just play it back. Be able to like actually play it back. Like it, the track mode already does that, so. Could play back an entire playthrough in the game, so it would be like 60 frames a second or whatever. You re you wrote it wasn't swarmy enough. Nothing going on here. Music and work, cool, man. Sweet. I know, right? It's been years making this. Well, finally, it's pretty much finished. Like, there's going to be stuff added and stuff after this. Like, after our initial release, there'll be a cool... There'll be something... I don't want to, I don't want to ruin any surprises, but there'll be some more stuff we're adding for free. We did save my time. I don't know. Oh, four minutes. Yeah, yeah, that's the right time. Okay, cool. At least I can do this whole dungeon over. Get a better time. 
Alright, let's see if we can actually... Yeah, see so these little swarmier guys? <laughs> these are swarmy guys! Yeah, bombs really help to get those guys away faster. You can't really swing your sword at that, that particular one and just hope to get them all, because they come out a little slower. Yeah, we do not have a date yet, but it'll be really soon. So we've been saying um, summer 2017, we're still on track for that. Um, basically, so it'll just be like late summer is our, you know, what we're currently saying. But yeah, we'll have a date really soon and we'll say this is what it's actually gonna be. Basically, we gotta like find out from Microsoft and Sony, you know, when it's like best for them to have it all launched and all that, line up the dates, get it all straight. You know what I mean? Whoa. Yes, nice. The... Oh, bomb all of them? Yeah, you probably could, right? Yeah, if you had... I think it takes three bombs, though, or two bombs to kill... No, the bomb, I think it's not the bombing, I guess you could put four bombs down. Yeah, that's a good question, like how fast can you put the bombs down? I, I can't, I can't remember exactly what the cooldown is right now, but I think it's around one to one and a half seconds. Alright, okay, the, the point, you really gotta like dodge the ice beams here, or else you get, you just get slow. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm, you can tell I'm not really that great. Or at least I'm not on my game today. Damn, getting hit with those. There we go. Alright, now you're mine! Ahoy! Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that took 748. That's about about three minutes to get this dungeon done. Okay, so two minutes for the first dungeon, three minutes for the second dungeon. Pretty sure the the slowest one so far is the acid dungeon, so I think I'll just do the all dungeons though, anyways, in this run. So we got the teleport cube, we don't need it, and, we, and it's not going to help to use it yet because there's nowhere to warp to to get closer to dungeon four. So I was showing the the cheat map I'm using. It's not really a cheat map; it's more like just a map of everything. It's like a very comprehensive map. So. Basically, on that map, I you know I looked at this before I did the run, and I'm like, okay, Dungeon 4 should be, you know, you can do Dungeon 4 faster than you can do Dungeon 3, so I'm going from 4 to 3 to 5. 3 and 5 are both the swordless ones, so you get we're going to get both of those, like, right back to back in this particular run. Sally, how you been, man? Oh, code editor. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Um, you know what, though? Um, one of the... I, you should look at the art style for this game from about three years ago. Go to my TIG Source. Or, yeah, go to... If you look for TIG Source, um, Songbringer, or, or you can go back and look at, like... Yeah, TIG Source is probably the best way to do it. Go look at the old art for this video game. It sucked ass, man. It just gets better. You just work on your stuff and in incrementally, you know, uh, what's that word? 
You're doing pretty good. Nice to hear, man. Yeah, so if you want to take a look at the sheet map right now. So let me show you what the map I've used for Wizard. So, okay, I was explaining it earlier, but this is Wizard, World Seed Wizard. Here's your home screen. Here's Dungeon 1 we were just at. Here's Dungeon 2. Here's Dungeon 4 where we're going now. And then we're going to go 3, um, 5, 6. So this is World Seed Wizard, by the way. Anyone can play this. You can look at this the map for this world. And then you take the you take the secret tunnel through um, through the waterfall to over to here, and then you go seven, eight, and then you can warp by that time back down to here, the home, and grab the um, grab a flask. You need at least one flask, and then go dungeon ten, songbringer, and then nine. And um, also, here's the other map I was showing. This is, I can't really show all of this because it's like it's long, but basically. These are the maps for all the dungeons. So if anybody wants to know a certain dungeon or whatever, I can show the map for it. I'm kind of doing it from memory this time because I've done it a few times. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did do an art thing too. So it's called From Programmer to Artist if you're if you're looking for art tips. Um, I don't know which way is it? I think I have been, a feeling it's to the right. Yeah, here it is. It's to the right. So here's the Verlot. Wait, no. Relax one more. I played this like just last night. I should know. I should remember. But I don't! Yeah, so that's one of the ones I think you can kind of like cheese one of these burlocks with the, with the easy ones with the spiders by just standing in front of it. But I didn't, I don't think I got there quick enough to cheese them. Okay, so we got ice. This is like gonna change the whole run here, being able to get a crafted ice. Um, it's actually fastest to get the calm right now, because then you don't have to like repeat story elements. Nice, right? I love this music too. It's like very like calming and non-musical even. It's like. You know, it's like, it's very just textured and atmospheric. I'd actually like to do another overworld track that kind of is more textured and atmospheric because like when it's more melodic and catchy and, and tuny like that, where for like the overworld track is kind of meant to be a theme, a thematic, you know, track. Um, whoa, Jib did a really weird thing there. Um, those kind of get stuck in my head too much. And I'd really prefer if, if there were, you know, it's, it's cool for that track to play like once or, you know, yeah, once during a run, I think. But when you hear it like the same track like three or four times during a run, like what the, did I not pick it up? Oh, I crafted ice bombs? Oh, damn. I'm quitting. <laughs> Restart. I'm restarting. I did not mean to craft ice bombs. You like that about it? See, I, 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 when I get earworm, I get really bothered. So, like, I want to make a an alternate version of the of the overworld theme song that just isn't as catchy. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I don't want it to get stuck in my head. But I'll play. I'll keep playing the first one once, right? And then the second time, you you're gonna you would hear it. It would be this big alternate version or whatever. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, good quite right. Teeks is like, why are you crafting ice bombs? We, I mean, ice bombs are kind of cool in their own way, but they're, it's just way more useful to do um, the top hat because it's you can throw it. But if you if you had um, if you had the top hat magnet, you it would totally mitigate that because you can throw ice bombs. But in this particular run, there's no, you're not really getting the top hat magnet. You're not getting enough money to people. Well, you could find the money, but like, it's just the top hat is just better. Acid bombs, are they? I don't know. That's a good question. You'll have to play and let me know whether acid bombs are too OP. Um, I don't think they are. I've pl I'm getting, I'm 
I'm going to get him in this run, and I don't think they make that much of a difference. Yeah, Thomas. All right, man. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely going to get some spoilers on this stream, so. All right, man, peace out. See ya. You can treat the melody of the theme as a late motif. I don't even know what that is. A more ambient. Yes, yes, exactly, right. More ambient, less melodic. Right, right. It'll use the bits and pieces, but without being melodic. Totally. That's exactly what I'm, what I'm talking about. What's the definition of that, that word there? Lay motif. Yeah, that, totally. That was a while back where the, the acid bombs might have been too OP. Things definitely have changed a lot and balanced out and stuff. Oh, wow. Three. I just got three of the 20 diamonds. That's amazing. Yeah, it's definitely at that point where you can speed run it now. It's all good. You can. Oh wait. Oh, I think it's. Is it down? No, no, it's it, yeah, it's this way. <laughs> I think it's here. Here we go. One of the new Viper enemies. Luckily in this run, we're basically gonna skip all the Vipers. They're freaking crazy hard. In your game? Check it out. I'm looking at the picture now. You found a new particle! Phantom! Files does not exist! Oh, man. A is a, is a, I hope I'm saying it right, is a musical phrase that gets used across multiple, oh, oh, right, okay. Rush does that a lot. Sometimes with variations, right, in different keys, maybe, right. Oh, okay. Right, they could use, be used to represent a particular idea or a character, but they don't have to, gotcha. Okay. Wow, that's cool. It's an interesting word to, word to learn. Something I definitely should know as a creator of things that, that that's very useful for. There's definitely a faster way to do this. Like, if I just rush in and throw down bombs, I definitely should just do that. Yeah, that definitely works. I oh, didn't even lose that much health. I love it. I just was bold and it worked. Yes. Boldness. No, oh, right. The Star Wars soundtrack. Yeah, movies do that a lot. Where they, they if, if they're, it's a, you know, it's like a good. Not good. I don't know. It compiles, right? It gets to the menu. What else do you want? What else do you need? User? Player? Player 2. Go. I'm just hanging out to see if there's any more bombs. Probably wasting time there. Okay, to the, to the boss. Good to be chatting with you guys. I know it's kind of a late stream. It's probably pretty late over there in Europe. For you teaks. So this, so this is where the top hat really starts to shine when you have the, the crafted top hat because this boss has can be hit by ice, but is he's ice resistant, so he doesn't get frozen as long as most enemies. But still, he gets frozen long enough to do a lot of damage, and it really helps for this boss fight. He's hitting him with ice like crazy a lot. Yeah, it's 2 in the morning there. Here we go. Okay, so now once I get these, I'm just throwing a lot of bombs and isolate one of them. I only have four bombs, so I just threw on four, but I might have more. 
think I'm in HUD. Yeah, I'm in HUD minimal mode today. It's kind of cool. You don't see any map. You don't see your items and stuff. Wasn't that low at all. I don't think I've gotten the achievement yet where you have one less than one health beating a boss. seem to have like a little bit of health when I need a boss. Now we got the shield. Oh, this is where we can warp back to... This is where the teleporter actually helps to get back to the home screen. So we can go to dungeon 3 faster. Oh, there's a, like, there's a bomb there. Do we need, do we need money? No, we're not going to need money. We only need like 20 more. Wait. Actually, yeah. It's just better to have a bird in hand is better than two in the bush, you know what I mean? Oops. Voice of Grog, what's up, man? How's it going? 15 minutes. How long did that last dungeon take then? Shoot, that last dungeon took a while. Now we're buying the spirit so we can give them back to Brutus later, once we once we got finally go to the dun the uh tower. So 15 minutes? And I think that the dungeon 2 was done at like 8 minute mark. Or wait, is that right? Yeah, 8 minute mark. So that did. That dungeon four takes a long time. There's a long way to go to get to it. What? What am I doing? Oh, it always is. I make that mistake every time. Maps it to Y first. It's too slow. You gotta skip everything. I'm holding to skip everything. Luckily there is that feature though, so you can skip through this any of the story dialogue you want just by holding B. Any of the cutscenes for the speedrunners. I would just make it so that it does that by default in the speedrun, but wait, where am I going? Oh that's down. But so but I wanna have that story element in there just in case there are some people that wanna play it. Story mode from that. Tommy Killer, what's up, man? Plus, it allows a streamer to kind of like be styly and like you know, if you want to, um, it, it adds another like element as a player. Like you can, the faster you hold B to skip dialogue, the better time you get. So it's kind of one way you can get a better time. So I think that might be cool for speedrunners actually. I don't know. I'm open to making this this the permadeath mode not even um not even do any story elements. Yeah, I'm using another screen for the chat today so I can do just full screen playing the game because I want to do a, a speed run the whole time. So I don't want to have to keep switching back to the to the Google to the other window while I can still do the full screen game. Cactus containers are really important. Did I get all three of those? There's one more up here. Yeah, here we go. I'm kind of playing by feel this by now. This is like the third time I've done this speed run, I think. I'm still practicing it. And there's a couple story elements I think of. you should never ever skip because it just kind of like hits home on what the point, the message of the game, you know what I mean? There's four seconds or ten seconds right there or whatever. You know, whoops. <laughs> Your meditation is really slow just on that screen. But in permanent mode it's like way faster. In 
general. You're not on that one screen. Whoa! <laughs> we did a little moonwalk right there. That was crazy. It's a bug. Moonwalk into the sword. It's kind of cool, actually. Okay, so now we're going for dungeon five. That's it. They're now we're at 19 minutes. That took what about four minutes to get through that dungeon. Oh wait, I don't need this money actually this time. I got so much extra money. I could have just skip that. So what I'm doing is I'm saving up 250 for the hyper top hat. Because it's like pretty awesome. There's a lot of little places where you can grab more cash, like there's more right there. Secret. Yep, so this is a obviously a spoiler alert stream with the speedrun practice I'm doing the whole game. I leave that one alone. Oh, we need the lighter. Whoa, he did went the walk he walked the back the wrong way again. It's weird. Okay, we don't need any money or anything. Whoa! Don't need any money, so I'm not like doing the secret reward item there. So the fastest way is to skip that entirely there. So we can go down and do this one first. It always gets me. Then on the way back up, you hit this once, you hit this one, you have to move, skip around. Just in this particular world, it kind of works out, so there's two of those gates. So there's only one way around, it's either the blink or you use the ice. Then you gotta lower them again for this one. So you'll notice the meditate is a lot faster there on this one. The meditate just in general is faster in permanent mode. But it's better, it's also faster when you don't have to do the meditate animation there next to the wall. Oops. Sweet, so there's Dungeon 5. He <laughs> moonwalked again! I like the moonwalks actually. Alright, so now we're going for. Whoa, what? Those are you up? Oh, should I go? Uh... Uh... No. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change up my route actually to this time. So I had the type the hyper top pad each time to get dungeon six, but it's faster if I go and walk to dungeon six right away. This wasn't actually blocked off the last time. Those guys are walking backwards too. Is everybody walking backwards now? Game dev. Okay, let's see what this dungeon is like without the hyper top hat, but still with the ice top hat. We're at tw about 23, 30 or so. Start this dungeon. I'm 
actually gonna do a little like segment timer. So every time you beat a boss in permanent mode, it'll flash the time since you beat the last dungeon. So you'll see how long it took you to go from from boss to boss, basically. Or maybe it should be the time in the dungeon. I don't know. So here we're gonna craft acid bombs. So we'll check it. I don't think they're too powerful. A lot of tweaks. It's, it's a while back. I'm crafting the bombs in particular because I don't want to have any poison attacks for beating this boss. Um, so I'm not going to use the bombs when I fight this boss. Because he heals from poison, so if you if you have poison, what you gotta do is not hit him with that poisonous weapon, or else he'll heal. So that's what I'm doing. It's kind of easiest to basically just not use bombs for this for this particular boss fight. one of those screens where you gotta kill all the enemies to get. It's one of the things that makes this dungeon so slow, but this is actually kind of necessary to get the bombs that are in this, in this room. Because at this point I think we only have four bombs or something crazy low. Yeah, this is the worm boss. Yeah. So you have to have crafted acid to get past those to get to this boss. So that's why you can't just be lazy and not craft them. At least there's no secrets that get you past that because it, it just does, it never like allows a secret path into the goal room. Oh, see, here's one of the times where you kind of be able to dodge this viper. Vipers are crazy. I'm gonna throw around a couple of, wait, I got some, here we go. What's that I need bombs for? Alright, give me some bombs back. During Prime Day, oh that's a good question. What are y'all getting, huh? interesting on your radar for Prime Day purchases. My buddy, you know what, my buddy actually has this like Segway that's like, it's not a Segway where like the old ones where you stood up and you had, you had handles. It's like a, just a, up to your knees. It's kind of cool, like you can take it all the way on the streets and stuff and it goes really... Oh right, yeah. Kind of have, you have to have Prime for it, don't you? I thought you could just shop on Amazon they still had deals even for not Prime. Maybe that's not right. Probably not right. So sometimes you can even, yeah, freeze them twice that time. Makes them a lot faster. Whoa. You can freeze the water down here. Force Horizon 3. Nice, man. Yes, yeah, so this is kind of a tip too here. Like you can freeze the water down here with the with the ice top hat or any kind of icy weapon, and that really helps this boss fight because when he spits out those, when he hangs from the ceiling and spits out um, the acid sand stuff, it won't go on the water. So you're safe kind of on the ice.
So this is what makes this bo this this particular dungeon so slow. Is this boss fight is one of the slowest ones so far. I haven't figured out a quick way to like beat him any faster, really. And this is once again one of those ways. I'm I'm kind of hoping some speedrunners find some crazy glitches to allow you to beat bosses faster, but. I've developed this game, but I haven't found any. So, I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna be found or not. Hopefully, hopefully there is. Like, what? You just kill that boss that fast? You, that, I would really kind of like speedruns to kind of be based more on skill than glitches in general. I think some of the better speedrun games to watch are ones where the speedrunner has to kind of use their skills more than just use the crazy glitches that, like, like, oh, you just use kind of a glitch there. Right, speedrunners definitely have been known as surprise devs, that's for sure. He's gotta be close, he's close to being dead. Feel it! definitely help to beat this boss faster would be chip or the glove. So I guess you could do it out of order. You could do dungeon 6 next. Maybe you can just go from, from 4 to 7. Yeah, maybe that's the way to do it. Like you do 4, 7, 8. So you have the chip and the, and the glove. In order to beat him way faster, you, you'd definitely be able to just mow through that boss with the chip and the glove for sure. Mask for SNES. And they're on a Skype call. Right? Yeah. I watched one with um, the developers of Hyperlight Drifter. And they were on a Skype call. It was the it was a 2017 AGDQ um, Hyperlight speedrun with uh, Munchakupas actually. And it was interesting. It was cool. It was like it was cool hearing Alex and uh, what's his name, Teddy? Yeah, Teddy, right? Alex and Teddy. I think it's Alex and Teddy. But they were both on the call, and um, there was a lot of things that people showed them right then. They were like, "Whoa, whoa! You didn't know you could do that." Okay, so now we're so close. We might as well just buy the top hat. Oh, that's kind of one disadvantage of not buying the top hat at this point, because I wasn't able to build up as many diamonds, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get 200 later to buy fear, which really helps at the end. minutes fire so we still have fire and fear left to do wait which way do I go in this dungeon oh man this way oh thankfully it's this way Not beating this this room very fast, but it's gotta be a faster way to do that. What's up, Mr. Talk? Greetings from France. Thank you. That's pretty fast. I'm about to get the glove too, so this will all get faster. Started this dungeon in 32 minutes. This is, whenever you have a switch and a glove or a gate item to get, it kind of makes the dungeons a little slower. Ah. 
those guys are crazy hard. I love rooms like this. This much chaos. Seeds end up being the best, yeah. I think this one's pretty good actually, Wizard, because you go from one to two to four so fast. Thank you, Mr. Talk, I appreciate that. Haha, -ha. sneak it right by the Viper, don't even need him. Don't even want him. Um, which way? Oh, which way? This is it. Yeah. No, this is. Forgot which way to go. Oh, I think this is where you have to use this key. Is this right? Oh my god, this feels wrong. I might have to look at the map. Oh, that's not it. I'm lost. I forgot which way to go. Okay, I'm cheating. So this is a little map I've got built. This gets outputted from the debug output of the game. Um, where are we at? Fire? That is the right way to get to the boss. Oh, but I used the wrong key. Damn. I'm supposed to go down and then bomb through there. Oh. Oh, you go down from here? Oh, but I still gotta go to... No, no, that's it. Oh, I guess I could've used that key. Oh, maybe you don't even have to get the key. And now back, back in it. Okay, I didn't lose that much time there. I don't think. So another great thing about the ice top hat is this boss, the fire boss, is actually weak to um, ice. It really helps have it here. Another thing that really helps the speedrun is like having lots of cactuses. It's kind of like the only way I've been able to find to beat some of the bosses is like having plenty of health, health items, courage items. While uh, you keep your courage up. We're at 37, so that took five minutes to do that dungeon. It's actually a fast one. And in fact, the next one, the eighth dungeon, the Last one before you go to before you teleport away is um is one of the fastest dungeons. It's so fast to beat this last one in this world. Oh, I can get that. That'll help. And then this over here. We still got. Oh, sweet. Ah, slow. So we got that one, that one. Oh, there's one over here though, so we gotta get these. These cactus containers are like necessary for the final boss for sure. That 
That guy was totally like spinning back and forth so much. He was dancing. Sorry for any of the fan noise you're hearing. My, my worrying fan. Would you say that Sunray is a fast roguelike made for speedruns, or we can also take our time and play like a Metroidvania? Oh no, Mr. Talk. So, yes, it is a is it is primarily a, a slow game that you play like a Metroidvania. You explore the world. This is a special mode of the game. So there's the regular mode of the game, which you're almost always going to start with, right? You're going to start in regular mode and play the game as you would. Kind of like a Zelda-like game, you know, like you're playing almost like Zelda where you really are kind of taking your time, you know what I mean? Exploring the world and finding everything and all that. I'm just doing the permadeath mode. So this is permadeath mode where it's base for speed. This is all like customized for speed runs. So it keeps a timer in the top left. So in the, in the normal version of the game, it does not have this timer running the whole time. And... Um, it's just kind of geared for more slow play. But this, this faster mode, the permadeath mode, is geared, is geared for you know, fast play. And permadeath mode, of course, you don't continue your, your progress. So when you die, you're dead, it erases your save file. But in regular mode, it's just, it's just totally like a normal game where it saves your progress. If you die, you can continue. I love this room. Oh. Yeah, yeah, cool. I know, right? This is the this is as crowded as a room can get. Jib can't even keep up with his speed booster. He can't keep up with all the items in this room. In fact, I don't think I we need them all. I'm just gonna leave. Save the time. Save the frames! Kill the animals! Dodge the Viper! Ah, the Viper! The Viper's crazy hard. That guy will get you every time, man. Don't even tangle with him. Just run past him. You can. Sometimes you have to fight him. So last night I got stuck on this screen. I was doing a speed run. I was 45 minutes into it. Oh, I'm four minutes sooner. Wow, that's okay. We're making good progress on this run. Um, and I got caught in this bottom screen fighting this boss and he got his eye closed and I was like, dude, that was lame. I had a lame death. Zatrick, whoa, what's up, man? How you been? What's up? Oh, shoot, we got hit. Okay, with the fear, the fear really slows you down, so you, try, you should try not to ever get hit on this one. Always trying to blink away when he does his attacks. You can see he's about you can anticipate his attacks by his animations. This is like a good few tenths of a second to get your your ass in here and get out of there. Whoa. Oh, oh shit, I had to get hit by that. Oh what? That was fast! You be crazy busy, yeah? Thank you, man. How do I feel being 591 days into it? Uh, I'm feeling really good, man, actually. 
It's actually a lot more than 591 days. I really haven't. This is more of like how many streams I've done. Um. Oh shoot. Oh there. Okay, I thought, I thought the bridge was gone. Um. Yeah. So this is like the third year of making Songbringer, and I'm really excited for it to come out, man. I'm really excited for this release. I'm stoked, man. I've been playing the game a lot, like every night, and it's it's really um satisfying and fulfilling to play this game. This is my dream game and it's turning out to be like a dream situation. I'm very excited by all this, so warp back to the home screen so we can do the final two dungeons. Wait, how much cash do I got? 185! We need 20 more! We need 20 more for the beer. That would be really handy right now. Where can we get? Oh, I know. There's 20 more. Now you need the flask. You gotta have the flask to beat the final boss. Here's some more cash. You can get fear too before you do the thing. The thing that I'm not saying, even though you're gonna see it. I'm trying not to spoil the spoiler just yet, but you're gonna be spoiled if you're watching this. We got fear. Oh shoot, I should just warp. Warp from there. Sweet, we're in 44 minutes. Wow, this is looking like a good time. So we got the flask. And we can go to Songbringer. It's interesting, that's like the that's the map for, for beating the game kind of in a minimal way. Okay, so we're crafting one last thing. So erratic on the menu. I'll find a sweet, a faster way to browse the menu. A lot of items. They'll be like, well, there's a lot of map locations too, so I'm trying to think of ways it could be faster to use it, but whoops, I don't think you gotta leave. To trigger this. Oh man, do I have to re-equip all my items? Oh no, good. Wait, where is he? Why aren't you following us? Here we go. Okay, there's gonna be a couple more secret items to pick up here that are really gonna help. The last two bosses, well... Yeah, two of them have lightning attacks, so we're gonna get the lightning armor. And we're gonna get one last health or courage container. Fighter Kid, what's up? Right, no. I can't remember if it's this. Hmm. I might have to look at the map again. Oh. It's this way, it's this way. Gotta get this key. And then we gotta get a couple things up here. I think I have to kill all those guys there and get over to the right there. How you doing, Butter Kid? <laughs> I'm doing good, man. I'm not, I'm not trying to compile the internet today. I'm doing a speed run. I'm just doing a whole playthrough session. No coding whatsoever. It's kind of relaxing. And it's also something I wanted to do for a video for a while. I want to like, I want there to be some, I want to share the information that I know about how to speed run Songwriter. Because it's really fun. I find it to be really satisfying. And I love that you get, you have, well, so far it seems like you have to use your skills as a player 
the speed run rather than glitches. I haven't found any glitches yet. There's gotta be some glitches though. They're in here. So you have to beat those guys so you can meditate. Oh, I already got meditate. Yeah, it feels good, man. So we got lightning armor and that extra tooth and a key. And that's all the stuff we need to collect so we can beat this dungeon. I'm walking out of here just to save my save file. Even though it's permadeath in case I die on this boss. Smith's doing some funny stuff. I kind of should note that. Let me note that. Alright, we got the droid smith dropped off. The chip still. We needed that key from the droid smith room for that door there. Oh, this might be a meditate wall. Yeah, this is a meditate wall. Go these guys too. Probably a, that's another thing, like any room you can skip. Anytime you can not have to beat all the enemies in a whoops. Yeah, anytime you don't have to fight a room like that, it'll really help your speed. Because that just took like 20 seconds, I'm sure, at least. 30 seconds, I don't know. Beat those guys in that room. Nine minutes.
gun, she's close. Yes! Nice. Right as you dropped the kill bomb, I could have died right there. Alright, so we're at 52 minutes, that's, so that took basically what? About 4 minutes this time? I haven't even explored any of the tunnels in this dungeon. There might be a faster way to beat this one. There's a lot of ways to optimize this route. Thanks, man. I'm actually, I kind of am. I kind of am bad. Like, there's a lot of bosses that I'm really not beating very fast. As far as speedrunning goes, there's a lot more. I can, I could. There's a lot more that could be done to be better. Wait, so I got the flask? Yeah, I did. Oh, let me just go straight to the last dungeon here. Wow, could have walked around. Some help would be nice, but I don't have Jib anymore. Oh, whoops! Forgot Bell. Another costly mistake. Not costly, I guess it's just pennies. Seconds. Oh, it just took a second. Oh, okay. That happened before one time. Oh, pff. there it goes. Okay, I, that's already a bug on my list. Like, it's just that door sometimes doesn't open very fast. It makes you think that it's not gonna open. So, okay, climbing the tower in 57 minutes, I might be able to get up to the top of the tower before the hour mark. My goal is eventually be able to be a Songbringer doing all bosses in like under an hour. That would be cool. 
The best time so far is hour 13. But that's only two times really I beat it. So it just the beginning, practicing it and stuff. I'm sure it's possible to get sub hour. I see how it is. Gotta make it slow for me. Sweet. Having a good flow there, somehow just like got him caught in the corner. He's got he's got method so he can get out of the corner, but sometimes you can trap him a little for a while. Eventually he just like fights back faster. So that doesn't work forever. I know, it's funny how people get creative in speedruns. I can't wait to see the funny creativity. Oh, didn't make an hour. Almost made it up the tower in an hour. Yeah, I can't wait to see people's creativities and, and glitches they find and stuff like that. How am I doing on cactuses? I got four, I need more of those for sure. Wait, was that containers? Secret you should, every speedrunner should know about. You can fill up your bombs here and your cactuses. So how many do I have? Six? Yeah, we have more than that. Way more than that. You have full yet? Twelve? I think that's, I think that's all. 12, 16 bombs. Okay, you're ready to do this. We can beat him. I'm gonna save. It's gonna cost me like 15 seconds or whatever, but I'm scared. Right? <laughs> right? Oh, cactus, nice. Oh, I didn't need it. Oh, I got those selected. Nice. Good there. Oh, 
Oh, what role does saving play in permadeath mode? It does actually save your progress right then. So if you don't die, you got the backup. But basically there's a cheat I'm using. It's not really a cheat. It's more of a hidden feature where if you quit the game during the, the game into the fear thing on the permadeath, um, if you quit right before before you basically, you know, while it's still on the game into the fear screen, it doesn't save the progress that you that you killed that save file. So you can permanent cheat your way into beating the game. So that's what I'm doing here. If I die, I've got a backup save. So I can just quit the game there and use that hidden feature to keep playing this permanent. Um, I'm on the fence whether that's actually going to go into the game eventually or not. I would love thoughts on that, but we are, I kind of already had a chat session all about that where we kind of discussed it and did a straw poll. Everybody voted that it should basically kill your save file. There's no way to just quit the game really fast. Like if you would just, no matter what, it kills your save file. That's what people said back then. But I don't know. I've always been on this side of the fence where it says like that you should have this hidden feature if you want it, where you can quit and not lose your permadeath save, but I don't know, it kind of makes it no longer permadeath, I guess, at that point. It's one of those things that not everybody's going to know about, so I'm not sure that, you know, it'll be, oh sweet, he's already through his first phase. You've done that a lot? Really? So that, so that that's like a thing for other games, too? It's like something I'm very aware of, and, and trying to, to make the best choice as a game designer. You know, what's, what's the best choice here for, for the game, for the players? You know, as a player, what do you prefer? What do you want? Do you want that hidden feature? Or do you want it to actually kill your save file no matter what? You can't even quit and get it back. And this, once again, where this is only talking about permanent mode plays. Regular mode plays, of course, you get to continue your progress. Metatron's in the second phase here. I'm actually doing pretty good on this fight. Is this permanent mode? Oh no, permanent mode is not the only game mode. So there's a regular mode to Songbringers. It plays out exactly kind of like a Zelda game or a you know Secret of Mana or whatever, where you when you die, you can just continue. It's just like a regular action RPG. And then this mode, permadeath mode, is when you die, you, it, your save file is deleted. Since permadeath mode is a speedrun mode, I think we probably use as a way to achieve death warps. Death warps. Hmm. So that's cool. I'm all about these. I'm all about any kind of cool glitches and warps. Being able to save is good for resuming later, but recovering from death, I think, would not be cool. Hmm. Right? I'm open to hearing all thoughts on this. So one of the things about fighting Metatron, you gotta get good at it dodging his lightning strikes and basically all, all his strikes. You gotta be pretty good at dodging them because there's really no other way to beat him. If you let him hit you all the time, you will lose so much health that like, the fight's not even possible with like three flasks. We're doing this with one flask. In fact, I might be able to do this without even using the flask this time. Yeah, he's already in his third mid phase. And there's another health right there. But we're not going to get any more health on the screen because there's going to be no more of those lightning midges. So this is another one where you really gotta dodge his first bit of the attack. He does this and he does that and then he shoots out the cold. Oh shit, I got hit by the cold. The cold is what will, what will really slow you down here. You really don't want to get hit by the cold.
got him. I haven't used the flask yet. This actually could save a lot of time in this week. Well, it wouldn't save that much time, but definitely save a little. Okay, beat Metatron in one hour and six minutes. This run's gonna be probably about 107 or something. 6.59! Bam! I beat my speed record. Oh, uh, but I didn't have Steam open. Oh, it's not going to save this. Oh well. I'll get better than 106 at some point. Yeah, I should have had Steam open in the background. It would have saved my progress. I'm actually playing the debug version of the game here, but it still can connect to Steam and all that. Save your progress and get your achievements and all that. Usually when I do these speedruns, I'll actually reset all my achievements and then play it again and get all the achievements. It's kind of fun to be like, yeah, I just got another achievement. Sweet. That's a new little feature too, where it stops the game time as soon as you lose control of play at the very end. Um, so yeah, right when you do that meditation there at the very end, that's basically where the player loses control. You're never ever able to actually do any more movement or anything after this, so. That's where the game time ends. Are you still in Canada? Well, there you go. 
Lifeline, thank you, man. Yeah, five months. Well, some projects really lend themselves well to be done in like less than six months. And some projects are like longer term, you know. Um, and I'm kind of one of those people that just loves the longer term projects. I don't know. But yeah, I hear you. I hear you. There's a lot of people like that these days, it seems like. You know, where where it's like a six month project is more appropriate. And I think that's almost like more something players even want. Players kind of want more of these like smaller, smaller games, you know? Yeah, the sense of accomplishment after finishing a project like this of, of a greater length is quite amazing. I was just talking about that earlier. It's like, it's really amazing, really like, feels great. And not only to be playing my dream game, but to be finishing my dream game. And like, you know, this is like, this started off as just completely a, a risk. You know, I didn't know if people would want to even play this game. And I was like, well, I could do a Kickstarter and figure it out. You know, if people support the Kickstarter, then maybe this game will do well. And it did, you know, people supported the Kickstarter. Oh, that, that pillar is like floating in the middle of the air. Like, that was weird. What will I do after becoming rich? Um, well, if that happens in my lifetime, I will start a game studio. You know, I'll like build my own home. Um, like I would love to have like a nice, uh, like cool van I can take to like just go climb mountains and stuff. Oh, this is C++. Yeah, I, I love C. Actually, I would have, I would, I'm actually thinking about if Jai doesn't come out, if Jonathan Blow um, doesn't finish Jai, because he's gonna, he's working on Jai and his freaking looks awesome and I can't wait to code with Jai, but he's waiting until he finishes a game with it before he releases it. So he's released, he's gotta ship this game first. And with how long it takes him to, to make games, you know, it could be years more before Jai is ever released. So I might have to code my next game in C because I'm tired of freaking how long it takes to compile C++. Oh, Jai with the AI, here. Jai. Yeah. He's got, his video series is called something like um, a new language for games, making games. He did a really amazing talk on it, actually, recently. Um, reboot. It was at Reboot. Yeah, so look for Reboot um, Jonathan Blow, I would think. I'll type that for you, just in case. For the spelling. Oh yeah, you don't like his persona, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's definitely a very smart dude. And I really respect what he's creating. It's, it's so cool to see what he's making with Jai. Like, it's freaking a rad language and it compiles so freaking fast. And like, ugh. You know, it's based on C, so it's very familiar. And then like, it's just all these little rad improvements. I've been following a lot of his videos making Jai and I can't wait for it. Yeah, I... So, I'm so thankful that he, that he is. Um, well, that's going to be it for this stream. I'm going to get some dinner now. And, um, yeah. So, there you go. Beating Songbringer in an hour and six minutes. If I hadn't died, it would have been an actual hour and six. But, I did die. and had to continue a bit. So, this video... Well, how long is this video, huh? Compared to how long it took to be, yeah. So oh, we're only at an hour and a half, and uh, and the get the play time was an hour and six. That's pretty cool. Oh, just from media. No, he did not make Fez. No, that's not the guy, same guy. No, no, no. You're thinking. You're thinking of um. Uh, what's the guy that made Fez? Shoot.
Bill Fish, that's it. Yeah, Bill Fish. Yeah, he's he's got one of those personas as well. Yeah, Jonathan Blow is Braid. Right, right, right. Yeah. And recently, The Witness. All right, so thanks for watching. Appreciate you all. Thanks for like, thanks for watching this little speed run practice of Songbringer. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. So I hope you all have a good night. Oh, will you release the OST? Yes. Yeah, so that's going to be part of the um, that's part of the deal from the Kickstarter. Um, is you know I promised all the backers. Yes, there's going to be a um, an OST. So what you're hearing there in Songbringer is some some procedural tracks. They're not all yet procedural, but there's about four or five dungeons that are procedural tracks. So they actually play different keys. So in like different world seeds, like if world seeds, I don't know, some world seed has a dungeon C sharp and then other ones like dungeon E, whatever. It plays, it plays different keys. So the music sounds a little bit different, but it's all rhythmically the same. So, but anyways, the OST will be kind of like a, a single instance of that. I'll have to pick a certain key for each one of those dungeons and like play through the OST a little bit differently. So the OST will be a little different than the game's audio, but not that much. Yeah. <laughs> So cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. Nice. Thank you, Bibeline. I appreciate that. All right, guys. So we'll see you all next time.